Hello, my frilly shoppers, and welcome back. This is Gina, and this is my shopping life. I hope you're having a great day so far. We are back shopping at Trader Joe's. Now, of course, I love to check out the plants and the flowers. Oh, those are beautiful. What are those called? I've seen them before, and I cannot think of the name at the moment. Those are so pretty. There's no name, no price for those. They don't have the huge selection in the front as they have in the past couple of weeks, but that's okay. I know they're going to get more, especially with Mother's Day approaching. Really pretty plants. It's such a great price. Of course, they always have a great selection of succulents and the roses. I do want to grab a couple of flowers. One for my kitchen window. Oh, I like that one. And how do I pick? I, I honestly love all of them, but I also want to get some for my daughter for her room. Oh, I think she would love the peony tulips. I think I'm going to grab some of those. So I pick those roses and then those are the tulips. And I have my bag over here. Oh, I like those. Okay, hopefully those are there next week. Because I decided to treat myself to flowers like every week. And especially this time of year, I think they're so pretty. And if they make you happy and just add a little extra joy, why not? It's $10. That is like buying like a cup and a half of coffee at Starbucks. And this makes me so much happier than Starbucks coffee because I make my own coffee at home. <laughs> so let's continue on the soups. I love that Trader Joe's sells soup all year long. I know they kind of changed them up. The tomato feta soup is a, one of my favorites, but I like that they have this all year long. And the strawberries. Now this time of year, strawberries are a really great price. The blueberries, and you have a choice between like regular or organic. We have the blackberries, another favorite, pineapple. And then of course you have your fruit medley, the cantaloupe, and then mango, and then watermelon. The pineapple's kind of calling my name. That one looks really good. We even have the sliced apples, and raspberries, and golden berries, the pomegranates. I really do enjoy all the options of the fresh fruit they have here, and even the lettuce and the salads. They've got so much. For such a small store, this little selection is not so little. And everything you're looking for, organic or not organic, or if you want to, you know, make your own, they have the cabbage. So you can slice up your own cabbage, cauliflower, they have the broccoli, and even the iceberg lettuce. If you want to make your own salad or make like a chopped salad, you definitely have a lot of options here. And especially for the size of store. Now, this is a new item, the milk chocolate covered honeycomb candy. Now, in my past experience, whenever I've had any kind of honeycomb candy, Candy. It is a little hard for my teeth personally, so I'm not going to try this today. I mean, I love honey, and of course I love milk chocolate, and I'm sure together they are wonderful, but I'm just a little nervous for my teeth. <laughs> now we do have a new oil. We have Cal Press, and this is the Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This one is $7.99, the EVOO. Now here at Trader Joe's, we've been seeing a lot of the freeze-dried fruit. And so we have a new one. This is the freeze-dried raspberries. And the package is super light. So they don't have the price on here. We can see it's the freeze-dried mangoes for $3.99. But the raspberries, I did get charged for $3.99. And so I'm definitely going to take these home and try these out because I love the idea. The package is super light, but I love the idea to use those in drinks. So I'm going to try that out. The lemons, I'm gonna have to grab some lemons soon. I don't need them this week, $1.99, but I do need some limes. So I'm gonna grab the organic limes. These are $2.99. I like adding a little extra lime to my sparkling water. So I'm definitely gonna grab this one. And here is the sparkling water, $3.49. I'm trying to remember if I've had the pineapple. I can't remember. Of course, we have the lime a lot. We've tried different ones, but the limes right now is still our favorite. If you need a smaller bouquet of flowers, $3.99. Just a little pick-me-up for $4 worth it. Now, the spicy miso, ooh, instant ramen soup. Now, I know these do have a lot of sodium in them, but it's moderation. Yeah, this one, $850. I do want to try one. 
And normally when I have something salty like this, I'll just drink some extra water and then I'm okay. If I had this every day, yeah, that would not be good. But once in a great, great while. And here's the miso ramen soup. Just gonna check this one. Yeah, that was 860. I'm zooming right in there. <laughs> And then we have the instant ramen soup, and this is the chicken flavor. I'm just gonna check this one out. So this one is 800. Okay, that one has less sodium than the other two. If you have tried those, and of course, any of the items that we shared today, definitely give us your feedback in the comments below. The spicy kosher dill pickles. Oh, those look really good. I like the container. I have a lot of pickles right now, but I'm definitely going to keep those in mind. They're $2.99. I just remembered I need to grab a couple of cucumbers, so I'm going to pick these up. They're $2.49, and of course I'm always dropping something. <laughs> now, as I'm walking through the store, the flowers, they smell so good. I cannot wait to get those home. Oh, we have the chicken, cheese, and chili, or green chili pupusas. Those sound good. And even the Middle Eastern inspired stuffed meatballs. Those sound good as well. Try to look for the price. I can't see the prices. I have somebody like right next to me. So I'm going to kind of just keep moving on. But I think I'm going to go through this area a little quick. But I'm going to come back and cover this area better next week. Because there are some great little treasures right here. So we'll definitely be back to cover this area. Hopefully we'll see some more of the prices of some of these items. Because I could tell that looks like they're trying to get the prices up there. It's not the fancy Trader Joe prices. Now, these are some of my favorite, the pastry bites. I absolutely love those. Of course, still no price. Now, here is a favorite right over here, the spinach artichoke dip. This has been here at Trader Joe's for so many years. You just warm it up and it really is good. The buffalo style chicken poppers, I tried those a while back and I normally love like buffalo style chicken, but the poppers just work for me. Now these are actually really good. The mini croissant swirls with chocolate chips, so easy to heat up. My daughter loves those as well. So you're getting eight per package for $3.99. And of course there are other croissants, those are $5.50. And there's about four of them per package. The Ube pretzels, we shared a couple of the Ube items last week. So we have another new one in for $3.50. It's a great addition to all the pretzels we have in this area. We also have the brown sugar boba mochi. I'm gonna try that at the end of today's video. It's a new item for $2.99. And speaking of new item, we have a returning item. This is the banana flavored ice cream with salted caramel swirl and vanilla wafer pieces. Unfortunately, I could not find the price of this one. If you know the price of this one, please share with us in the comments below and again everyone thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me today I'm always so grateful for all of your support and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so it's a small gesture but it helps out my channel so much now let's continue on with the half moon cookies for three dollars and fifty cents those are so good we have the battle cookies now you have the regular for $2.99, but we have a new one right here, the Lemon Zest for $2.99. And with the Madeline cookies, I always like their shell shape. They always look so pretty. And this is a good size package, it's just enough. And of course, I do need some of the sourdough sandwich bread. I'm gonna grab one of these. And I like their selection when it comes to the bread here at Trader Joe's. And so they have some good options if you want one just regular or organic. It really depends on their price point, but the prices for the bread is actually really decent. Now with summer on the way, zinc oxide sunscreen, I really like this one. It is SPF 30 for $10. Well, here's my little mini haul. So we are going to head on home and we're gonna try a couple of these items here. So of course we're home, we're gonna try the boba mochi. These sound so good. There's been a lot of great reviews, so I can't wait to try them for myself. So serving size, two pieces. The sugar is not crazy high, which I like. It's soft, and I love that they're individually wrapped. So let's open this up and let's try it out. 
Now, I like that it's not sticking to my teeth. That is a huge plus, but it doesn't look like the picture. So we're going to try another one. <laughs> okay, that's a little better, but these are so good. I love that they're not overly sweet. And that is such a cute little snack. It really is cute. I think this is adorable and I am really enjoying these. I really hope this is an item that Trader Joe's carries for some time because I know sometimes you'll find a favorite and then they go away. So Trader Joe's, if you're listening, please keep these around because those are delicious. Now we're going to try our next item. This is the freeze-dried raspberries and I know they have some really good options when it comes to the freeze-dried fruit and I like that they are super light. I mean the package is super light. It's also resealable and so I'm going to add it to a beverage because that's my idea of using those for beverages. Now the Olipop, I know Trader Joe's doesn't sell the Olipop. I just bought one and to try it, I got it from another store because I haven't tried this one. So we're gonna add the freeze dried raspberries to this and see how it works out. So you wanna let them soak for a few minutes. So I'm gonna let them soak for about four minutes and then kind of try them out. But I'm kind of looking over the package of the freeze dried raspberries to see if there is like a date, like an expiration date. I couldn't find any date on mine, but I like that they'll last a long time. Cause if you were to buy raspberries like for beverages, normally, you know, they don't last very long in the fridge. You gotta use them up at least within a few days. But here you could have those for quite some time. And so I like the idea, this is what I want to use it for, you know, for like lemonade and other beverages. So I tried one, it's really good. You wouldn't know that it was freeze dried. So I definitely do recommend those. And you can even use them for cereal as well. Now I did want to share the flowers. I have them in my vase. I just got that vase from Home Goods for $7.99 and I am loving the flowers. They smell so good. So I did want to share that with you. And everyone, thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me today. Thank you again for your time and for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later.